Hello everybody. In the previous session, I talked about the modularity of RISC-V ISA. If you haven't watched that, I highly recommend you to watch the suggested video above here. In this session, I'm going to talk about the scope of changes needed for customizing a RISC-V code. By customizing, I mean adding a new custom instruction on top of the basic instruction set. You know, every RISC-V core has to support at least the basic instruction set, but it don't prevent you from adding your own custom instruction on top of this. But to know the scope of changes needed for customizing a RISC-V core, it is better we know about the instruction path in a processor, and that's what this slide is all about. So this is the basic instruction set for RV32i and I, I'm not going to get deep into this uh, instructions and how they are encoded and what is the purpose of each because maybe I will cover that in a separate video or uh, if you want to read by yourself then all you have to do is just go to chapter 2 unprivileged spec and this is the version 2.1 and you can read it from there. But uh, here, uh, this, for this session, the primary focus, as I said, is going to be uh, the scope of changes needed for customizing a RISC-V core. Okay. So first, let's see. Let's take an example of an add instruction, which is uh, part of the basic instruction set. You can see here. Where is that? Okay. So where is it? Add. Okay. Here it is. Okay. So it's very important to know the instruction path in a processor, okay? But this picture here does need not represent a RISC-V core because a RISC-V standard does not talk much about how it should be implemented. It is just an instruction set architecture, but this picture is just an illustration to understand the instruction path in a processor, okay? So very first, the instruction from the instruction memory is fetched in the instruction fetch stage okay then it is decoded to understand what this instruction and what is the functionality of it so here it is an add instruction so the adder is invoked and it's a 32-bit adder and so this is the syntax so this is a format so add so a5 is the destination and source 1 is A5 and source 2 is A4. So A4 registers and A5 registers are fed into this uh, adder. And in the execution stage, this uh, result is uh, calculated. And in the next stage, the results are available in the destination register, which is A5 here. Okay. So let's see how it applies to our own custom instruction. Okay. So let's imagine that we have built a hardware module which just uh, squares a number, okay? And uh, let's call the instruction, custom instruction as INT16SQ, which is, uh, let's go for integer 16-bit square, okay? So let's see if we have to add a custom instruction and what, what would be the path for the same? So I, I, I have explicitly said 16 here because the registers are 32. If you have to square a number and uh, if you have to, unless it is 16 bit, the squared number cannot be contained within the 32 bit registers because if you multiply two numbers, which is of uh, P bits and Q bits, then the result can go up to P plus Q bits. Here it is square. so input is as long as the input is 16 so maximum it can go up to 32 that's why i have explicitly said this is an int 16 so this can take an input of maximum 16 bits okay and let's say this is the format and let's take this as an example here so in the instruction fetch this custom instruction has to be fetched and it has to be decoded and in the execution stage, so this is the hardware, let's say we have built, let's call this as in 16 square module. And uh, this A4 input is passed into this and the squared value is uh, calculated. And in the write back stage, the results are available in the destination register, which is A5. 
In the previous slide, we discussed how we introduced a new INT 16SQ instruction and hardware module. But unless we hand code in assembly, it is not enough because mostly we write the code in higher level language like C or C++ and we use compiler to convert that into the assembly language or machine code. So let's see what happens if we use a GCC compiler or LLVM compiler which supports RISC-V. So RISC GCC or LLVM when it says it supports RISC-V it can know only the standard instruction set of the RISC-V spec. There is no way that it can know your custom instruction. So for a code snippet here let's see so what happened so this has an addition so the LLVM or GCC compiler which by default supports RISC-V will have the support for the basic instruction set and uh, so this would be converted into this equivalent assembly language okay and uh, in the second stage so compiler will generally have more stages but for simplicity I have just split into two stage one is like from C to assembly and assembly to machine code these are the minimum stages but uh, before here you will have parsing and everything but we are for simplicity I, I, I am not I have removed that here okay so but if you see the machine code so this is the equivalent to machine code for this uh, add instruction so this is the output of the compiler and this uh, machine code would be uh, dumped into the RISC-V core and it will be executed okay now let's see what would happen in our uh, custom hardware let's say that we have a snippet like this uh, C equal power of a comma 2 so this is nothing but it squares but here what what would happen we we will we want actually we have added a instruction and we would like to see int 16 uh, sq here but there is no way that compiler would know about this so it, it doesn't mean that compiler would just give an error no it wouldn't but this c code would be converted into some assembly uh, with the help of those uh, existing assembly instructions this power function would be converted into the uh, with the help of existing assembly instruction and still it will work but if we want this to be uh, replaced with our own uh, INT 16 SQ module then we need changes in the first stage of compiler and in the second stage of compiler as well because this has to generate the corresponding machine code of INT 16 SQ. So to summarize, so these are the minimum changes. So what we discussed till now is we introduced uh, our own instruction and we introduced our own uh, hardware for like the uh, square module and then there has to be changes across the compiler and assembler for customizing the RISC-V core okay